The last few weeks, we have been working hard at completely renovating the interior of this house. This is my brother-in-law's house that he recently purchased and he asked us to renovate it. He is getting married in just a few weeks, so we are going to try and see if we can complete this renovation by their wedding day. So the previous episode in this series was demo day. We demoed everything that was getting replaced in the entire house. And now in today's episode, I will be sharing the process of starting the kitchen makeover so we'll be prepping and painting these cabinets which was a huge job but it turned out so amazing we'll also be adding new handles and knobs to the kitchen adding lighting painting the entire house shopping for supplies and more so a lot happening in today's video it's going to be jam-packed with weeks worth of work so we hope that you enjoy it and stay tuned until the end of this video to see the kitchen progress because it turned out so amazing we absolutely love the cabinet color so be sure that you don't miss it at the end of this video. Okay, so the first step in this kitchen makeover was to build the cabinets up to the ceiling. My brother-in-law and his fiance have been very involved in the decision making and we made sure this was what they wanted to do. Building your cabinets up to the ceiling like this can help your kitchen look taller, make it look more custom, and now they don't have to clean the top of the cabinets. You could either build or buy custom small cabinets to put up here instead, but it wasn't in the budget to do that, so this is a good affordable alternative. Now while Jalen was building these cabinets to the ceiling I was on a plane to Indiana to surprise my mom for her birthday I booked this trip almost two months previously not realizing just how busy we were going to be over that time and I almost canceled the trip last minute just because I didn't see how I was going to be able to leave but I'm so glad that I ended up still going it was just a quick 72 hour trip and was so special to surprise my mom for her birthday and just got to spend a few special days with with my parents and sister. This is Jalen's third time building cabinets up to the ceiling and he always does such an amazing job at this. It is a fairly easy process if you have the right tools and if you want to try and do this project, I'll be sure and have him type up the supplies that you'll need down below in the description box. So today we are working on the kitchen. We're trying to get the kitchen prepped for paint and then later this afternoon we'll be heading to Lowe's and buying all of the paint and supplies that we'll need for this kitchen. So like you saw at the beginning of this video, Jalen's been working at building these cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and he also was working on this island. This morning I'm going to start taking down all of these cabinet doors and I have to label each cabinet door so that we know exactly where it goes. So we'll be labeling the cabinet doors and then also labeling the inside of the cabinet. I need to clean the inside of the cabinet. We need to clean these cabinet doors and then we need to sand the cabinet doors. That way the primer can bond to the cabinet doors. I did decide to keep the original hinges just because I am going for a little bit of a rustic look in this kitchen. So I think the hinges are definitely going to match the look that I'm going for and they'll match the handles and the pools that I picked out. In the demo day video, I saw a comment or two saying that they're hoping that we're keeping the plate racks, but my brother-in-law's fiance did say that she wanted to get rid of the plate racks so we did go ahead and take those out and instead we'll just be adding two stained wood shelves that way she can display some glasses coffee mugs or decor up there so i chose five different samples of blue paint and then Jalen painted them onto this piece of plywood that way we could bring it down here to the house and just hold it in the different light and see which one we like the best. And I think we're both leaning towards blue spruce. This blue is just the closest blue to that inspo picture that we have. We do have a lot to do before we can even start painting. 
The only thing that we've gotten done so far is to clean the cabinets. We still have to sand them all. We've got to sand this entire kitchen. So a lot of work ahead of us, but it is going to look awesome when it's done. Probably the worst part of this kitchen makeover was trying to get everything clean and sanded. These cabinets needed to be completely clean before they were sanded and there was a lot of grease and buildup on these kitchen cabinets so we were just taking a razor blade as you could see there and just scraping down the sides of the cabinets trying to get off that gunk and it was even more difficult when it came to the cabinet doors because all of the doors had that crease and so all of that buildup was in those creases and it took a lot of sanding and scraping with a razor blade and a lot of cleaner to get everything clean and there was also a finish on these doors so that had to be scuffed up and sanded enough for the paint to bond and I just showed a couple of clips of this process because it would have been hours of footage we spent two entire days just working on these cabinets cleaning and sanding and everything so before you undertake the job of painting kitchen cabinets be sure that you realize just how much work goes into prepping the cabinets and the doors. It is a lot of work and you have to do all of this prep if you want to end up with a good smooth paint finish that is going to last for years and years. Hannah from the future here. Sorry to interrupt, but would you like to try on glasses for free in the comfort of your own home? I'm going to share with you how you can do just that. So it's that time again. It's time for me to upgrade my glasses and my contacts. I went to the eye doctor last week and got a fresh prescription, and now I need to order some new glasses, and I need your help deciding which pair to order. So this box of glasses from Warby Parker was free to try on. I love that they offer a free home try-on program, so I could pick out up to five pairs of glasses to try at home for free and shipping is free both ways too and you get to try on glasses in the comfort of your own home which I love Warby Parker their glasses start at only $95 and they include all of the stuff the anti-reflective the scratch resistant so if you want to try ordering glasses online you are going to love your experience on Warby Parker as much as I did head over to warbyparker.com slash happy home and take the home try on quiz and you get to try out five pairs of frames at home for free it's free shipping as well both ways that's warbyparker.com slash happy home and ordering a free try on supports my channel as well so thank you for that and also thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video So once we finished our work, we headed straight to Lowe's that night because we had to order countertop ASAP, pick up tile for the shower, buy lights, grout, and all the paint we'd need for the walls, ceilings, and cabinets. We are doing granite countertop in this kitchen and we were trying to find something in the lower price range that would work. So after we picked out something, we scheduled a measurement date and then the job got handed over to a local granite countertop company and we have just been in direct contact with them since they're super nice people and just a really awesome small company that we've had a good experience with if you're local we would really recommend them we were here without the kids because my mother-in-law offered to watch the boys on the days we were working which has just been amazing we wouldn't have gotten everything done so quickly otherwise so a huge thank you to her so while we were waiting for our turn to order countertops we were browsing around the different kitchen displays and I also did grab a sample for flooring I've just been collecting some different samples of flooring but since then I have already picked out a flooring and it is scheduled to be here in just a couple of days Jesse and Melodia both said that they love dark accents in a house but they don't want it too dark so just like a nice mix of light and dark so I decided to do a dark shower which they're both really excited about they love this tile and I just thought this was such a unique tile I loved how large the tile pieces were and then we went with the penny tile for the floor and I think it's just going to make for a really cool shower So it's currently 
definitely Wednesday morning. This week we've been focusing on the kitchen and also painting the entire house. So yesterday Jalen painted all of the ceilings in the house, but unfortunately halfway through painting the ceiling, Jalen's paint sprayer broke and we are an hour away from a Lowe's or a Home Depot. But thankfully my husband's youngest brother, Jesse, was driving home from work at the time and he was able to pull into Lowe's and grab us a new paint sprayer. So that ended up working out great. Jalen was able to finish painting the ceiling and he also finished sanding all of the cabinets. And now today we are prepping these walls for paint. So we're filling in all of the holes sanding the walls. Jalen just went to go and get the air compressor. That way he could put a little bit of texture on these walls at just a couple of spots where he had to patch some large holes. And then everything has to be taped and plastic put up before we can paint. And we would also at least love to paint these kitchen cabinets today. Maybe not the doors, but at least just the cabinets that are in here. But we'll see how much we can actually get done today. The last two days have been a little bit stressful and I always like to keep these renovation videos as real as possible. Sometimes it can just look like everything is going great and renovating is so easy, but I don't ever want it to come across that way because there is going to be a lot of highs and lows when you're renovating. You are going to have very stressful times. Things aren't going to go right. Things are going to break like the paint sprayer breaking yesterday. And yesterday was a pretty stressful day. So then of course the paint sprayer had to break as well, but it just seemed to be one thing after another the last two days. And that is just how a renovation is going to go. If you're planning to start a whole house renovation, just don't expect everything to go perfect. Things are going to go wrong. And there's just a lot of other things going on as well. Like the furniture is delayed. I don't know when that's going to get here. We're trying to figure out when the flooring's going to get here and just so many different little things, the light fixtures, the appliances. I don't know if it's all going to get here in time and that is kind of stressful. So we've kind of tried to just reassure ourselves that if everything doesn't get done in six weeks, it's fine, but we would really love to have it all done by the time they get married. But anyway, we feel like we've caught our second win this morning. We are feeling motivated this morning and excited to work and get some stuff done today. So these cabinets were sanded and now everything had to be cleaned because there couldn't be any dust left or dirt anywhere on these cabinets or on the floor by the cabinets because when he was spraying them we didn't want any dirt to blow up onto the cabinets as well so i was wiping the dust off of the cabinets and then also cleaning the inside as well the shelves and things just decided to go ahead and clean all of that while the doors were off it was time for a lunch break and then jalen got started putting plastic on the ceiling we were prepping to paint these walls and when you're spraying a house there is a lot of prep work that's involved but it is so worth it because spraying the house is a lot easier than having to use a roller and a brush. Pink color is Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore OC20, and this is always one of my go to favorite neutral colors. It's just got that perfect mix of gray and tan, and it is crazy how just paint can completely transform a space. Just having that nice white ceiling with nice clean tape lines leading into a fresh new wall color. All of this new paint just transformed this house and made it feel larger and cozy and just gave it a whole new look.
Okay, so the walls and ceilings are painted. We've just been going around the house now and pulling down all of the plastic and tape, which is so satisfying, but it's also kind of sad at the same time because it took so long to put up all that tape and plastic and then we just rip it down. But the paint color turned out so good. I can't wait until we get some lighting in here. And then you guys can see this paint color a little bit better. This is Pale Oak by Benjamin Moore, OC20. And Jalen is just back here ripping off the last of the plastic and tape in the bathroom. And my phone stand has definitely seen better days. I think it's time to order a new phone stand. It won't hardly hold my phone up. And this leg got bent back when we did the office makeover. We're gonna call it a night. We're tired. It's like 5.40, so we are gonna head out of here, go and pick up the kids, and get back to work tomorrow. So at this point, we took a little break from working on the house for two days and Friday we spent the day getting the house ready and getting all the prep done for a party that we were having the next day on Saturday. And this party was a couple's bridal shower and this was for Jesse and Melodia whose house we're currently renovating. So it was really special to get to host their shower as well. I thought that I would share a few clips of their shower just so that you could see the shower that we hosted for them. We had about 40 people here on our back porch and it was just a really fun party. We played games in the backyard, had some good food. After dark, we all gathered around the fire and it was just a really fun day and nice to take a break for the weekend from working on this house. And now it is Monday and we are back to work going to do some cleanup and then we are going to start painting the cabinets and also if you've never done a home renovation before you will be constantly cleaning up there's always so much cleanup to do you're constantly picking up trash and there's always something to vacuum with a shop vac so just a lot of cleanup constantly during a home reno. And I was giving you a few little peeks around the house there, showing you the progress of the shower. And Jalen had also cut a couple of holes for the lights in the bedroom. We were doing four canless lights and then we'll be doing a ceiling fan in the middle of that room. Before we start painting the cabinets, Jalen is going to cut the holes for the pendant lights that are going over the island. He didn't want to cut those holes after we painted just because it was going to make a lot of dust. These pendant lights turned out so beautiful in this kitchen. They were from Amazon and they are a very affordable price. So I will be sure and link them down below and stay tuned here in just a couple of minutes. You are going to get to see the final reveal of the painted cabinets with the knobs and the poles and the pendant lights. It just turned out so beautiful. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss that. We had a quick lunch break and now we are getting started painting these kitchen cabinets. So I am laying all of the doors out here in the living room and I'm using these little triangles that we bought from Lowe's. We also had quite a few previously but we had to buy even more for these doors and these are just so perfect when you're painting cabinet doors you can set them on these little triangles and then we are going to wait for them to completely dry for 24 hours before flipping them over Good morning everyone. So it is another chilly, cloudy morning today. 
It's been rainy the last couple of days, which has been really awesome. We need the rain. So today is day two of painting these kitchen cabinets. So we were up early this morning, heading down here, and we do have the kids with us today. Usually the kids have been staying with my mother-in-law, which has been so awesome and such a huge blessing that she offered to do that, but she is not home today. So the kids are hanging out with us up here. We are just loving this kitchen cabinet color. It turned out so good. This color is called Blue Spring. Bruce. Yesterday was the first coat of paint on these kitchen cabinets and I think they're only going to need one coat. He is going to have to do a second coat here on the front of the island but the rest of the cabinets only needed one coat. And then as far as the doors, he only got half of the doors painted yesterday and we let those dry overnight and now he's going to flip over those doors, paint the front of the doors, and then we'll set those in a different area to dry and we can set up the rest of the doors and get the front and back painted today. It's definitely a process, but we want to do this right. We want the doors to be completely dry before we flip them over. We don't want to get any marks on the doors or anything. And so we're just taking our time. We want it done right the first time. And so far it is just turning out beautiful. We're getting a nice smooth finish. Jalen's doing such an awesome job with the painting. So I was cleaning all of the hinges. As you could see, I was dumping them into this little white bucket that had cleaner and hot water. And then I was taking each one out and scrubbing it, setting it on a towel to dry. A lot of these hinges were very dirty and greasy and just caked with a lot of different things. So I had to do some scrubbing to get them nice and clean before we use them to hang up the doors. So Jalen is going around and attaching all of the hinges to the cabinet frames and then we'll come back around and attach the doors. All of the hardware for the kitchen is from Cosmos Hardware. I got some of these pulls for all of the drawers and then I got knobs for the doors. I really love how these look with the cabinet color and it just goes with the style that I'm going for here in the kitchen. Here's a closer look at one of the drawer pulls. They're so pretty and here's what it looks like with that cabinet color. And here is the knob. So we'll be doing the knob on all of the doors and then the poles will be on the drawers. We are having our quick lunch break before we finish up these kitchen cabinets and then we'll hang up the pendant lights and then I will give you a final look at the kitchen. And I'm also going to show you the sink that I ordered for the kitchen and the faucet and all of that. And the next time that you see this kitchen, it will be in the complete kitchen makeover video. So you get to see the kitchen completely finished with the countertop, the backsplash, the flooring, the decor, the appliances and everything. So stay tuned for that in the future. And also be sure that you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on. That way you don't miss any of the episodes in this series if you want to see this house continue to transform. And then I also am posting videos at our house every other week as well.
Okay, so here's what the kitchen is looking like. They're still working on some electrical things over here, so I don't have the pendants on, but we are just loving how it is looking so far. This color just came out so beautiful with the knobs and the handles, and I'm so glad that I went with these pendant lights, just the detail of the chains, and then they do have the like brass look underneath, and that ties in with the handles and the knobs. This island isn't quite complete yet. We still do have two boards to go on the side and then a board for the bottom. We did paint those at the same time as the kitchen, but we won't be adding them until we do flooring. And they are moving very quickly with the countertops. Those are actually going to be installed in about two weeks, which is so awesome. So stay tuned to see how those look in the kitchen. And then once they're installed, we'll be picking backsplash. I do have a couple backsplash samples back there. And like you saw, I did keep the original hinges in the kitchen, which I'm so glad that I decided to do that because they match the knobs perfectly and just kind of add to the whole look that I'm going for here in the kitchen. So in the ceiling, we decided to do three four inch canvas lights and then we've got the two pendant lights over the island and then there will be a chandelier over the table here behind me. And we do still have to add some shelves in this little area. We're going to do two small stained wood shelves. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the finish on these cabinets. The finish just turned out so amazing. It's really nice and smooth and that is due to all of the prep work that we did to these cabinets and also the way that he sprayed them. That sprayer just did a great job. Last week we got the sink for the kitchen and also the faucet. I want to unbox these really quickly and give you a sneak peek of the faucet because it's a really beautiful faucet that's going to tie into the look of this kitchen really well. And then this is the same workstation sink that I have. I really love my sink and so I've put one of these in the flip house and then we're also going to put one here in Jesse and Melody's house as well. I guess they cut the holes for this faucet when they install the countertop. Like you didn't yeah. have to tell them that it had. Okay, so here is this beautiful kitchen faucet. I really love these handles. This does pull down and you can switch it between a spray and then just the regular. In this box is the 30 inch undermount workstation sink. And this does come with quite a few accessories. So it's got a cutting board that she can just put right on top of that sink. And it does set, this workstation sink has like a little lip on the edge. So you can set things on that lip and it's just really handy to have. And then she does have a mat. So this is a rollout mat for drying dishes and this does set right on top of the sink as well. And this is the drain and we've just got some different little boxes of hardware. And next is the rack that goes down in the bottom of the sink. And then of course, last item is this 30 inch sink and she wanted to just do one large sink. I did give her the option of having two separate, like a divider in the middle or just one large sink and this is what she chose. So a huge thank you to Kraus for working with us for this kitchen sink and sending all of the faucets for the house and everything. Always such an awesome company to partner with and their sinks and faucets are such high quality. We always love them. I hope you enjoy getting to see this kitchen makeover. Stay tuned to continue seeing this kitchen transform. And thank you all so much for watching. We appreciate your support so much. And I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.